We've never recorded in a studio before. So, you know, being here, you have access to all these kind of different instruments. And there has been many moments where Lars or someone would be like, why don't you play this on the Mellotron? And then you're playing it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the thing you didn't know that it needed. I always love this for some reason. I love that. Yeah. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, that's. I love that. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm Hannah Joy. My name's Tim. I'm Harry from Middle Kids. I'm in the band Middle Kids. And we are recording our second album with Lars Stalforce. Harry, Tim, and I, you know, we work mainly because we really value each other first before the music. Because it is quite funny that we all work together because we're very, very different. Musically, Hannah, she's like a pure artist. She will like play piano and she'll start crying because she's feeling the emotions of whatever it is that's happening in the music. And that's like a very beautiful thing. And I think that's why the songs come through her. That's good. We needed a little that's hook. so good. So good. So like Can almost you know weird. Yeah. I love this bit. That squishiness. Yeah. And then Harry's great. He's like the most solid drummer in the biz. It's pretty much the only thing Hannah and Tim can't do between them. Harry's got an evenness. He's sort of even keeled when we're talking about like a problem we're having as a band or in the song. He's never too flustered about it. And I think that's a really helpful energy to have in the conversation. Tim has such a global way of like thinking about music. As soon as he hears a song, he'll kind of start thinking about what it could be and, and then he'll kind of start exploring that. He's like a little song machine. You know, like insert it into the song machine, then I leave and then he kind of works on it. He will um, bring a lot of life to them in terms of instrumentation and groove. Like he's got a very strong creative sense of feel and rhythm and color and he just like splashes it all over the song. Anytime I press a button on this machine, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Yep. Can you give me a... Oh, yeah. It doesn't happen that many times, though, you know? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think it does. Really? The way this album has come together has been a lot more intentional and, for me, a lot more thoughtful. And it's actually a lot more emotional than I have ever written. Songs for me have always been kind of helping me understand myself and the way I see the world. I remember so clearly, like when I was like 17, writing in my journal, I want to make music that loves its listener. I really want people to hear the music and to feel a sense of love. And when I say love, uh, it could be challenging and intense and like tough, but it's like, it's, it's in the guts. Hannah is so unflinching in her ability to describe the dark and the light side of life without necessarily creating a judgment there. She can just sort of describe what it is to be a person. And I think that, that it's that honesty that always shines through in her lyric. It's not trying to make like a political statement, but it is trying to make a truth statement about this is what it's like to be alive right now. And that's the kind of music that I usually gravitate towards. When the wheels come off, I'll be your spare. When the party's over, I'll be stacking the chairs. When the world turns off, I will be there. And I will be there. Check it, check it, check it.